Hey guys, welcome back to Layla Teachers. Uh, today we'll speak about the metabolism of phospholipids. Phospholipids are polar ionic compounds composed of an alcohol that is attached by a phosphodiester bridge to either diacylglycerol or sphingosine. Now when they are um, attached to diacylglycerol, uh, they are phosphoglycerides or glycerophospholipids and if it's sphingosine then they are sphingolipids. Phospholipids are the predominant lipids of cell membranes. Uh, membrane phospholipids also function as a reservoir for intracellular messengers and for some proteins, phospholipids serve as anchors to cell membranes. The non-membrane bound phospholipids, they serve additional functions in the body, for example, as components of lung surfactant and even essential components of bile. Phosphatidic acid is the simplest phosphoglyceride and is the precursor of the other members of this group. Glycerophospholipids are formed from phosphatidic acid and an alcohol. The different types of phospholipids are when you have serine with phosphatidic acid, you get phosphatidyl serine, ethanolamine, you'll get cephalin or phosphatidyl ethanolamine. Choline is important, it gives you lecithin or phosphatidyl choline. Inositol gives you phosphatidyl inositol. This is what phosphatidic acid looks like. You have diethylglycerol and then phosphate. Okay, speaking about the synthesis of some of these phospholipids. Uh, so starting with phosphatidyl ethanolamine. So you have ethanolamine, which will attach to the phosphate. So you have phosphoethanolamine. And like we had UDP galactose or UGP glucose, you're going to have cytidine diphosphoethanolamine. Then you have diacylglycerol as the backbone, and this CDP ethanolamine will attach to it, losing the CDP, and then you will get a phosphatidyl ethanolamine. The mechanism is the same even for choline, you it will get phosphorylated, so you have phosphorylcholine and then using CDP choline it will attach to the diacylglycerol uh, giving us phosphatidylcholine or more commonly known as lecithin. Cardiolipin is when two molecules of phosphatidic acid are esterified through their phosphate groups to an additional molecule of glycerol. So it is two diacylglycerols on two sides being uh, attached. It is exclusive to the inner mitochondrial membrane and necessary for maintenance of respiratory complexes of the electron transport chain. Plasmalogens are phosphatidyl ethanolamine and phosphatidyl choline. Uh, as examples, at C1 of the diacylglycerol, instead of an ester, you get an ether. That is the difference, so the name changes from phosphatidyl to phosphatidyl ethanolamine. Those that contain a sphingosine as their backbone are called sphingolipids. Instead of glycerol, they have sphingosine. Alright, so the alcohol group at carbon 1 of sphingosine is esterified to phosphorylcholine, producing sphingomyelin, which is the only significant sphingophospholipid in humans. Sphingomyelin is an important constituent of the myelin of nerve fibers. Glycolipids are derivatives of ceramides in which a long chain fatty acid is attached to the amino alcohol sphingosine. They are therefore more precisely called glycosphingolipids. Like the phospholipids, glycosphingolipids are essential components of all membranes in the body, but they are found in greatest amounts in the nerve tissue. They differ from sphingomyelin in that they do not contain phosphate and the polar head function is provided by a monosaccharide or oligosaccharide, hence the name glyco. Gangliosides are the most complex glycosphingolipids and are found primarily in the ganglion cells of the central nervous system, particularly at the nerve endings. An addition of sulfate to galactosyl residues are called sulfatides. The enzymes involved in the synthesis of glycosphingolipids are glycosyl transferases uh, and they are broken down in lysosomes. 
Ceramide is the starting point. Uh, so with the help of phosphatidylcholine, you get sphingomyelin. And then with the help of UDP galactose, you'll get a glycolipid or galactosrebra side. And sulfatide is after the addition of sulfate with the help of the enzyme sulfur transferase. The degradation of phosphoglycerides is performed by phospholipases that are found in all tissues and pancreatic juice. There are different types. You have phospholipase A1, A2, C and D. Uh, we are mainly interested in A1, 2 and C. Uh, sphingomyelin is degraded by the lysosomal phospholipase known as sphingomyelinase. It hydrolytically removes phosphorylcholine, leaving a ceramide. The ceramide is in turn cleaved by ceramidase into sphingosine and a free fatty acid. Here you can see the action of sphingomyelinase and then ceramidase. Uh, the phosphorylation of membrane-bound phosphatidyl inositol produces phosphatidyl inositol 4,5-bisphosphate, which is PIP2. Now, the degradation of this by phospholipase C occurs in response to the binding of a variety of neurotransmitters, hormones, and growth factors to the receptors on cell membranes. The products of this degradation, inositol 1,4,5-triphosphate, IP3, and diacylglycerol, DAG, they mediate the mobilization of intracellular calcium and the activation of protein kinase C, respectively, which act synergistically to evoke specific cellular responses. And signal transmission across the membrane is thus accomplished. I will speak about this in a video on hormones and their mechanisms, but it is important for you to know that PIP2 will degrade into IP3 and DAG and each of these have specific signal transmission roles in the body. Uh, neiman pick disease types A and B is an autosomal recessive disease caused by the inability to degrade sphingomyelin. The deficient enzyme is sphingomyelinase, uh, which is a type of phospholipase C, and the liver and the spleen are the primary sites of lipid deposits and are therefore tremendously enlarged. Infants with this lysosomal storage disease experience a rapid and progressive neurodegeneration as a result of deposition of sphingomyelin in the central nervous system and they die in early childhood. This is it for this video guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.